to call your attention to a disturbing trend that I find in my beloved country. Not long ago, some of our service chiefs retired. Uh, but recently, the National Assembly have also confirmed some of them for further appointments. The same service chief who could not provide security, who retired to tell us that it will take us about 20 years for this country to fight the, or solve the security problem in the country. They've been confirmed for greater responsibility. All right, that is not my business. All right. Let me also bring it to your attention that recently, some clerics have been justifying why uh, 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 some bandits are doing what they are doing. Some governors have come to their defense to say, oh, why they should not be brought to justice, why they should be accommodated and even settled. Wow, 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 wow. Um, kidnapping has become the order of the day. These days, government agencies are in the business of settling even kidnappers. But my question is, when all this settlement of insurgents, kidnappers, even some militants have also been settled earlier, who is taking care of the Nigerian youth who has refused to go into crime or violence? Who is taking care of them? I guess it's not my business. What do I know? I'm an ordinary comedian. But let me tell you as an ordinary comedian what I've been going through. So to do a successful show in Lagos as a comedian, I look for about 20 million naira. You pay venue, you pay event service providers, you employ maybe about a hundred people, create jobs for them to have a successful show. And in the course of struggling to raise funds to do your die your successful show, some of the pastors will even discourage their congregation from coming. They will say, oh, it's a worldly event. The governor will not be at in attendance because, oh, he's very busy. Then the media will not give you free publicity until you pay. So you spend all this money, go through all this stress and create jobs for 100 other youth without people really coming to your aid. You just happen to be doing and some of your friends. Now COVID-19 has been here for more than a year. Nobody is talking about this set of Nigerian entertainers, Nigerian youth who have chosen not to do violence, who have chosen to insert create jobs for other people. Nobody is talking about how are they going to survive. No palliative, no kind of support. Now, how much does an AK-47 cost? If you Google it, maybe about 500,000 Naira for an AK-47. So. Let's say a comedian decides to take that 20 million and go searching for AK-47. At least he can afford 40 pieces of AK-47. Take some youths into one forest. Of course, abundance of forests all over Nigeria. Take 40 youths into the forest with AK-47 and begin to kidnap innocent people. Suddenly, the governor who is very busy can now shake your hands snap picture with you and defend why you should be settled by government because you have gone through a lot. Suddenly, government agencies will be rolling all over themselves over who to handle your ransom payment. Suddenly, the media will be giving you non-stop coverage. Suddenly, the pastors and their congregation will be praying for safety in the land. This is the country where we have found ourselves. God help Nigeria.